Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Let's look at the simple steps on how to upgrade VMware tools or VTools on a VM in ESXi or VMware 6.7 or 6.5. So here we are, we're connected into the vSphere client via the web browser. Uh, you can connect directly to the ESXi host or directly into the um, vCenter environment to actually perform the upgrade uh, or the installation. But you'll see that in my case, it's got um, a little warning saying that a newer version of VMware Tools is available. This is because I already have VMware Tools installed, but we're obviously gonna go through the installation and also the upgrade features. Now, VMware Tools uh, really is a must for every single VM that will be managed. Um, it does provide additional drivers and functionality uh, to make uh, the management of the VM a little bit easier uh, and more smooth through your vSphere client. Um, you can also console into the VM and use things like your mouse and other things um, with the full, full support and full drivers um, of that VM. So it's definitely recommended that you install VM tools. Now the simple steps to do this is you select your VM that you want to install VM tools and you can right click and go guest OS and then install VMware tools. Now in my case, because I already have VM tools installed, it's grayed out, so you may just need to do an upgrade. But in install, it'll then prompt you to pop up a screen on your, um, on your VM itself, and you just follow the prompts. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this. You can do an automatic upgrade. VM tools will be upgraded without interacting with the guest OS. If required, it will reboot automatically. Now just be mindful of that. You may not wanna do that. So some cases, you may just wanna do an interactive upgrade and upgrade. And if we now console into this VM, right, you can RDP into this VM or you console in if it's a Windows box. In some cases, you may get a pop-up saying, uh, you know, with a, with a prompt to install VM tools. Other times you'll have to manually go browse it into, um, you know, in my case, it's my, here we go, it's my D drive, so it's already been mounted, you'll see. Oop, and it's popped up automatically. So I can just run the installer straight from here or I can physically go into that D drive and run setup. Okay, but in this case, let's just use the updater right here and just follow the prompts. Now, in most cases, once the installation has completed, it will require a reboot of that VM. All right, so this is gonna prepare the VMware tools and we just run through the simple installation to upgrade it to the latest version. We're gonna leave all the standards as default and validating the install, it'll go through its steps. And as I said, it may require a reboot of that VM. So just be prepared to either postpone that or perform that now if you can organize a outage window to your particular server. And then once installation is complete, you'll see this area here and click on finish. Now you'll see that it has asked me to restart my uh, server. So just be mindful of that. You will require perhaps an outage window to reboot this. But then really all you do is you say yes to restart your, your server itself and then you will be running the latest version of VMware Tools. That is the steps, nice and easy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would love it if you commented below and let me know your thoughts, and we will talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.